Today I'm gonna show you how to play Gwent. Play as Gwent in the turn-based strategy card game from The Witcher. Wait, I don't even play this game. Do you wanna rip towers to shreds and slap enemies with comically large scissors? Well today I'm gonna show you how to cut up some hoes with Gwen. Gwen is basically a spell weaver who can combine auto attacks with short cooldowns on her spells to deal a constant stream of damage. With her max health damage and true damage, she can shred anyone in the side lane and dominate once she gets her items. Please delete the shabby! Gwen's greatest strength is that she scales like a monster. After a couple of items, not many champs can deal with her without bringing the whole goon squad. She has splendid wave clear and split push potential. Because she is an AP auto attacker, she can wreck towers with ease. And lastly, she's a great duelist with a lot of mobility and sustain. She can chase you down, be very durable in her mist, and heal up a lot of her health bar. But Gwen also comes with her weaknesses, like her ass early game. She has to play safe in the lane phase so she can reach her power spikes. And she's not that great of a team fighter. She has awkward team fighting, and she has no CC to be as impactful as other top laners. Alright, so let's do a quick TLDR of her abilities. Gwen's passive is that her auto attacks and abilities deal max health magic damage. If she attacks a champion, then it heals her. Gwen's Q is a 2 snip attack shaped like a cone in front of her. Auto attacking gives her a stack which adds extra snips to her Q. Enemies hit by the center of the cone are hit with true damage. Gwen's W is a circle around her that gives her armor and magic resist. Enemies outside the circle cannot hit her or target her at all. They have to be inside the mist to interact with her. She can recast W again or move out of it to call the mist back to her. Gwen's E is a dash and after her auto attacks are enhanced for a couple of seconds. Her autos get extra range, attack speed, and magic damage. If she can get an auto attack during this time then her E gets half of its cooldown refunded. Her ultimate is a needle that she shoots out that slows and deals damage. She can recast it after she attacks an enemy with an auto or Q and each recast shoots out more needles. For your skills, you want to start E level 1. Gwen has a very strong level 1, so she could 1v1 even with just her E. The ability you want to max first is Q, and then you want to go E into W. Let's go over summoner spells. The spells that you want to take most of the time is Ignite and TP. You want to take Ignite instead of Flash for more kill pressure on enemies who try to take you head on. Gwen has no problem sticking onto her targets, and she has no need for diving the enemy backline because of her W. So Flash is not as necessary. If you don't choose to go Ignite, then Ghost is also a good choice. It gives an extra boost for when Gwen can't stick onto her targets. You always want TP, because Gwen is a split pusher. So for your summoner spells, you want to take TP, and then choose between Ignite or Ghost. Let's go over the runes. You either want to go Conqueror or Lethal Tempo. Conqueror is good for healing, and Lethal Tempo allows for more offensive ability like range and attack speed, but you would rather want to go for Conqueror because the healing is too good to pass up. Then you want to go for Presence of Mind for the mana regen, Alacrity, and then Last Stand. For the second tree, you want to go into Resolve. You want to get Bone Plating for all ins, or Second Wind if you're against Poke. Unflinching is good for Tenacity and not getting locked down, and if they don't have any CC, then you want to go for Revitalize because it gives you a lot of healing. And then for the Shards, you want to go Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and then Armor or MR, depending on a matchup. For starter items, you want to go either Doran's Ring or Doran's Shield as a more defensive choice. The mythic that you want to rush is Riftmaker. This item is perfect for Gwen as it's good for extended fights, gives you a lot of lifesteal and true damage. And we all know how much Gwen loves true damage. And after that, you want to get Nasher's Tooth. This is the only attack speed item that you'll ever need. Gwen gets a huge power spike once she gets those two items. So finishing these two items is going to be your goal every game. For boots, you want to prioritize the plated steel caps. Most of the time, you'll be facing AD tops. If not, then you could go Merc Treads, this is good for all AP teams and teams who have a lot of CC. Another item you could go is Lucidity Boots. Gwen likes Ability Haste. The more Ability Haste she has, the more E uptime and the more Q and W procs. This is more like a greed item when you're snowballing. So once after you get your core items, you have other options like Zhonya's. This is an OP item on Gwen so she could be twice as immune. Cosmic Drive is really good too for the Ability Haste and Movement Speed. Moral Nomicon is good if you don't have Ignite or if you need a lot of Grievous Wounds for a full healing team comp. Demonic Embrace is pretty strong, especially when synergized with other health items like Spirit Visage. And Rabidons of course for massive damage. So Gwen is already pretty durable with the extra stats from W, so she synergizes well with tank items like Randuin's Omen or Spirit Visage. Oh god, they found me. The one time I'm not playing Riven though. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, I'm out of here. I'm making a Gwen video. Now I'm going to show you some Gwen combos and mechanics. A simple combo is auto attack, E auto attack. Your E is actually a auto attack reset. This is really helpful for getting more auto attacks in, and it helps you stack your Q faster. Your Q snipping attack will move with you wherever you go, so you can catch enemies by surprise with a dash Q, 
or a flash Q. Here's another combo, it's the E Q auto attack. You could shortly auto after your Q, so you want to use E first to get the extra range, and then you can auto at the same range as your Q. Your W can make you immune to anything in the game. As long as the enemy is outside of your mist, they can't do anything to you at all. If you're really scared about getting your TP interrupted, you could W and then TP, so they can't cancel you. Try and move the mist to isolate enemies in fights that would otherwise be unfavorable. For example, against ranged champions, you can zone them out while fighting another enemy in melee range. When you want to engage with E, make sure there's something to auto attack nearby so you get the cooldown refund. Keep in mind that if you use it without auto attacking, or if you're using it to run away, it'll have a longer cooldown. You can attack anything to reset your R. It doesn't have to be an auto attack, you could use your Q as well. But it doesn't have to be only minions. You could hit wards, towers, jungle plants, tibbers, Renata Glask. You could use your E to dash over small walls. You can do it over big walls though. So if you put it all together, a full combo would look like this. Basically, you want to activate all your ult procs while stacking up your Q, and finally end it with a third ult proc together with a four stack Q for a billion damage. In the early game, Gwen has one of the strongest level ones with her E and Ignite. Other than that, she's really weak in the early game compared to other top laners. Gwen just doesn't have enough attack speed yet to get her damage out. She needs to play safe and take short trades. Gwen needs to play around her W. Use W to avoid poke or deny an all-in. She gets a lot of resistances, even if you don't use the immunity, but W has a long cooldown, so don't make yourself open to getting rushed and you don't have your W. Gwen is really squishy without her W. She's not a tank. She might be with her W, but she's not really a tank. Or is she? Ah, shit. Wow. Build champ. Oh, I'm out of here. Oh shit. They got the whole squad. Oh, we going crazy. I'll life steal off of this guy. Okay. Oh, oh. We're within sun. Oh, <laughs> massive. So basically as Gwen you should be playing safe early to scale into your monstrous late game. Once you get your two core items, Rift Maker and Nash's Toe, then you can finally play the game. In the mid to late game, your goal is to split push, be annoying, and win 1v2s. She has a really good wave clear and she shreds towers into tiny little pieces. As Gwen you always want to run TP so you can play for the objective from the other side of the map to draw in opponents. For example, if your team is fighting Dragon, then you want to be top because it's on the opposite side of the map. The thing about Gwen is that she's not really the best at team fighting. With her W, she could zone away range carries and isolate the front line. So Gwen is more of a front to back fighter rather than a diver. She thrives when fighting tankier opponents too, because she has so much shredding power. If you're in the middle of five people without your W, you could be locked down and bursted in one hit. Gwen has no CC, so she shouldn't be the first to engage. Instead, she should be second to engage in team fights. So hopefully you learned a lot and you can now be a 1v9 menace with Gwen. If you like the video, please subscribe Arino.